This is Ferrari Nitro here, and I am doing shout out Saturday finally. And we need to give a shout out to. John Jay, Lads Fuzzy, whatever it is, here's his channel name. Please go over to his channel, please. And if you want to shout out, just like and subscribe and say so. And he does videos on GTA 5 and stuff like that. He does Minecraft videos on Trove on his PlayStation 4. So you better watch that. And if you haven't, seriously, you should. But for the next person, we are going to be giving a shout out to Nudge Reminders. And that is another game changer in the whole world of the app stores. Apparently you can get it on iOS and Android and it can give you reminders and everything. So better check that out on Google Play slash iOS store. Whatever. He did one video on Nudgy Reminders, the advert about it. So go over to his channel now. He, has, he actually has two. And then for the third person, I will have to give a shout out to Induced Rhino. Four three eight. Haven't been doing any Force Horizon free videos for like nearly two weeks. That's because I had to break it to the news. My laptop broke. Sorry, but I'm just getting it fixed. But I will be doing some videos with him and a few other YouTubers. So better watch that out quickly. And the, also he d has all sorts of awesome videos that I really recommend you to try and watch. He has four Horizon free, vi free videos that are really awesome. And he does great builds and everything. So please check him out. And the final person is actually a gamer tag because I can allow gamer tags if you want to and this guy is it was I like Lance but I don't know his gamer tag but I'll tell you in the future what it is when I get updated he is on Xbox live and I usually hang out with him on Xbox usually when I can but let's get on to the week in review but first I'll give you the rules and there's free rules. You've got to like and subscribe. Say you've liked and subscribed and want to shout out, then you will ask you'll ask me and I'll basically say yes. Cause I do want more than three shout outs a week. It doesn't matter if it's Xbox gamer tags or YouTube channel names. Just do it please. Basically the first thing will be and this is very sad for everyone, but apparently this is really annoying. The Hennessy Venom is gone forever. They made the last one this week, and they're going to get rid of it, and it will be banished forever, but not in my mind, because that car is crazy cool, and the speeds of it were very fast, and it's Apparently one of the fastest red cars in the world, I think, at this moment. It's either that Koenig's Egg, the one to one, or the Gas and Bay one, Super Sport. But to be honest, the Venice Venom GT is an awesome car. I really like the looks and everything. And apparently, it's based off on Lotus and Lees. But the final car's colours below. with the Hennessy Venom, no, Hennessy Venom, GT5. Apparently, I've seen, I've seen kind of the looks of it from the spy shops. I'm not exactly sure if that would be the next model, but it looks quite promising. So you better watch that out in the future. I know I will. And the car just looks cool. And apparently you can go over the speeds of, oh, 290 miles an hour. This is gonna be crazy, everyone. We're, we're reckoning this will be like the Concord of cars. Woohoo! Also, 
so the next news is basically we are witnessing another electric hypercar made by Bandra Electrics and it is one of the first Singaporean supercars ever. Shall I say hypercars? Because that's what it is. And it's probably going to compete with the likes of McLaren, Porsche, Ferrari and the Croatian magazine, no, Croatian one. Rymac and everyone, this is going to get heated up in the electric electric car market and I guarantee you the acceleration will be quick and it will be developed by one of the most advanced Formula 1 teams ever to go on this planet Williams they aren't doing so well but they will bounce back when they can at least they're not as bad as a few years ago they totally went Exciting for sure. Janine will not show everyone. It's gonna be exciting just to let you know. Okay. And the final news is basically we could be witnessing the Dodge Charger. Hell, not, not that demon now. This is a crazy car. It's apparently 200 pounds to 300 pounds lighter. I'm not exactly sure what that is in kilograms, but that is slightly lighter, and it could be more possibly more powerful, and it could be as powerful as the McLaren P1 in the Ferrari La Ferrari. I think that's going to be worrying the power. So you can put some wheel drive on. But where we saw it was in Fast and Furious 8 when they were showing the cars. But how did no one notice till recently? When they had the Dodge Ch Challenger demons, I was not worried about that. I would not want to drive that for sure. With all that power, unless I had four-wheel four -wheel drive and had really big tyres that stretch out for a long time. I think that would be quite hard to drive. Apparently, it is basically going to be an 850 brake out horsepower of the class or C class. So that will be a little bit annoying. I'm not sure if that will be positive, but it is crazy. Whoever thought of that in Fiat Chrysler, I must give you a shout out. But bye from Ferrari Nitro. Please like, subscribe, and, and comment, and share. So, bye. For now at least. Thank <laughs> you.